the fifth wave. Chloe Moritz, an impressive actress. Apocalypse Armageddon has uh, quite a few uh, scenarios uh, uh, for us in films and science fiction books. Uh, one version is the comic Hell. I'm, I'm reading the new maps of Hell by Magista Ludi, King of Comedy. King of the novel, um, Kingsley Amos, Amos, and he talks of science fiction, uh, of uh, uh, comic hell, uh, of humor also in one section in, in science fiction. Uh, I love that. He, he says, um, uh, Frederick Paul uh, is one of the best, if not the best. Author, kind of genre, at least uh, up to the point where he wrote the book, and as long as he lived, maybe, maybe that was that uh, rival. Uh, we can admire and, and have come in the meantime, uh, but there are some, some funny uh, stories there. Some, uh, Midas, the Midas, uh, something, uh, for a future, speaking of apocalypse, I'm again, a future in which uh, those who consume more are the unprivileged, something like that. There's a problem of, of consumption, so in the end they have to invent because this production and then somebody has to take up the production so they invent somehow uh, robots and then they, they go full circle something a, a, a satire on, on consumerism um, which with the way we, we uh, live and take things on uh, could bring about uh, uh, an end to humanity. Uh, there are hopes. One, paradoxically, is AI. AI is under fire now because the chat, chat GPT, the latest incredible progress, there's, there are worries that AI could go in the wrong direction. Terminal! bring the end from another corner. But AI being so intelligent might find cures for cancer, might find a cure for global warming, climate change being so much more intelligent. Singularity, singularity theory uh, argues that at one point AI would be more intelligent than all, all us humans put together will have collected all the data, all the information and have the capacity to beat us all to thinking. Uh, so, uh, there is this, there are uh, various scenarios, or referring again to the same uh, book, because about the film, let's in fact take a moment and say just a couple of words and a couple of words. A few words, a couple of words will be very good, not good, some more words than two. Um, not really, not uh, mesmerizing for me. And that's about it. I'm coming back to something else, which is not a subject, but new maps of hell, um, predictions of science fiction. He, he's also speaking of uh, Bradbury and gives some some passages from Fahrenheit 451 and uh, Montag, the, the book where the book, yes, where books will be burned in the future. And a future where there is, again, this, this uh, invitation to think of what happens. Uh, this, this, um, constant search for pleasure. 
a society where books are not the thing then why because well if you can get such easy pleasures why why read uh, reading is forbidden of course uh, we have uh, revelation and um, reversal as Aristotle argued that we, we need that in drama and the example is Oedipus where um, there's a messenger and Oedipus is the king he expects good news but then he finds he has killed his father and married his mother and takes out his eyes so you have reversal revelation and reversal and here Montag the hero in, in Fahrenheit 4 part 1 um, starts as a fireman and firemen are there not to extinguish fires but to set books on fire so he he starts playing for the other side so he gets into books and furthermore joins spoiler alert although i'm not giving spoiler alert here for what am i talking about the free way <laughs> but about uh, four, what, four, five, one. So he joins the school wherein they save books by memorizing them. So that uh, there's a continuation, there's a hope for, for the future, future generations.